I am Marlene Wilson, the catering supervisor of the Cafe B. I'm Alan Thompson, a plumber within the Estates Department. Our aim is always to ensure that the environment is clean and welcoming. Without us visiting them, they would obviously be admitted to a hospital bed. It just makes my job very worthwhile to see the rewards at the end of the day. Our work makes a difference to patients by making sure that staff have the opportunity to gain an accredited qualification with City and Guilds. Once they gain that qualification, it demonstrates their competence and confidence to do their job well. This in turn affects the way the individual approaches their work and the patients get a good experience as a result. We also have employment qualifications for some of our service users which are going down incredibly well and this gives our service users the opportunity to gain accredited qualifications to enable them to get back into the workplace and that's a huge benefit. This is the Estates Works Department. From here we cover electrical work, plumbing work, carpentry work, throughout the county anything you see or touch we have probably repaired it sometime in the past. One of the things we try to do is to recycle as much as possible. If a hoover breaks down, we will strip all the usable parts off the hoover and use it rather than buy new. We have three or 4,000 sink outlets have to be checked every six months so that nobody can get scolded. We provide a safe and secure environment for them to come to and actually live in. Northamptonshire's Chlamydia Screening Programme aims to normalise sexual health and also make it easily accessible for young people to access a chlamydia screen. We encourage a lot of young people um, to screen with key messages that chlamydia is serious, that it's silent, but it is treatable. And we use a, a multimedia approach using Facebook and Twitter, often with a quirky or humorous undertone to help people remember us. If anybody's interested in getting a screen, please visit our website. The Family Nurse Partnership Programme is a structured, intensive, evidence-based home visiting programme for young parents having their first child. The clients have told me that having a family nurse makes them feel safe, having somebody to talk to, ask advice from about the health of their child and their own well-being. So we encourage and enable and walk beside them on their journey to being a parent. I feel I make a difference because I help parents and advise them with potty training, behaviour management, sleep programmes, weaning, feeding advice and maternal mental health. It helps them in their everyday life with family um, and helps them be the family that they want to be and raise their children the way they want to raise their children with support of the health visiting team. I work as part of the Occupational Therapy Inpatient Services and we provide a range of treatment opportunities to meet individual service use needs. When patients come in, it helps reduce anxiety and uh, increases the release of endorphins which actually gives them a sense of well-being. We have a range of vegetables that we tend, that we use as part of the therapy programme. The primary benefit for most patients is to get them out of the hospital environment into something which might be a bit more close to home so that when they leave the hospital they've got the confidence to continue looking after themselves in the community. SWAN is a multi-agency partnership that works to support adult female sex workers out of the sex industry. We offer a holistic range of support from housing, advice and support through to everyday assistance such as use of the telephone and computers. The feedback we get is always really positive that it's a place that they feel safe and have faith that our clients believe in us as a service. We work with our patients when they are acutely unwell. We, we have the, the, the job of making sure that when they are acutely unwell that we're able to nurse them back into a place where they are well enough to get back out to the community. And it, it is very rewarding to see you know, a patient through the journey of being acutely unwell and then being nursed with the help of all the other various uh, professionals to go back out into the community where they can live independently. There's a general perception that a hospice is a place where you come to die, but our philosophy is that a hospice is a place where tears and laughter go hand in hand and it isn't all doom and gloom. We take our lead from our patients as well. We always discuss what we're going to do with them. If they 
say that they would like to do something just for example to go home for an afternoon um, although they can't go home for good then we can arrange that. It's the little things that make a difference. We have a Dreams Come True Fund um, which we have enabled patients to go up in an aeroplane, to go to the seaside for the day, to go to Wimbledon or even something as simple as having a meal together. A lot of people don't want to come here because of the very thought of what a hospice is but once they do come in they feel very safe and very secure and they really don't want to leave us. Our service makes a difference by supporting, helping and advising parents and carers with children aged 0 to 5 years to promote their health and well-being. Providing a range of services such as adult learning, parenting programmes, fathers, young parents and health and well-being groups and sessions that stimulate learning in a fun and interactive way. Working with partner agencies such as health professionals, the local authority, public and voluntary sectors and the wider community. So come and see us! The Hotel Services and Logistics Department provides a range of essential services for patients, visitors and staff, which includes domestic, catering, linen and laundry, portering, transport and reception. We know that the standard of cleanliness and food makes a real difference to patients. Our aim is always to ensure that the environment is clean and welcoming, that fresh, clean linen is available daily, and that the food we provide is nutritious and that any patient's specific dietary needs is catered for. My role as a health trainer is to support and motivate people who want to make a healthy changes to their lifestyle. The person I'm working with at the moment who um, I saw for the first time last week, um, she came to me because she wants to stop smoking. We took a carbon monoxide reading and it was 34, which is very, very high. And we've taken the reading again today and it's zero. The look on that person's face, it, it's, it's wonderful. Now there's no carbon monoxide in her blood at all. It's really exciting being part of the MSK outpatients at the moment because the service that we're developing is to streamline patient care. We don't have to send patients backwards and forwards to their GP in order for them to see the right therapist at the right time. So there's no delays in their treatment. We've managed to cut our waiting times down to five weeks and we see our urgents within a week. Visit nurses are highly specialist practitioners that work within the community setting visiting patients at home that are predominantly the housebound. One of our main roles is to avoid hospital acute admissions, also to facilitate early hospital discharge and get them in their own home where they obviously want to be. We support people in their preferred place of death and that means managing them at home where they want to be and obviously with their family and, and their relatives around them. Child obesity can be a very upsetting and sensitive matter for families to deal with. We offer a 10 week healthy family lifestyle programme to help them with these issues. It incorporates healthy eating, reading food labels and um, lots of activity for the children to get involved in. The programme is fun and interactive and we aim to help families to become fitter, happier and healthier. I'm part of a team of crisis and support workers and doctors at the Serenity Sexual Assault Referral Centre. We provide medical, forensic, interview and ongoing support services to children and to adults who have been seriously sexually assaulted and this is available 24-7. Child abuse and rape are terrible crimes but by giving people the help that they need in just one place it lifts an enormous burden from their shoulders. This is Cafe B. We provide a breakfast service, a lunchtime service and an afternoon tea service. The patients come during the day with their family. They're very friendly towards us, as we are to them. And we provide a very good service for them. We do get a lot of patients who left here who still come into the Cafe B and they give us a big cuddle sometimes. <laughs> Everyone in this organisation matters. Not everyone's contribution is seen, but as individuals and as teams working together, they all make a difference to people's lives. What this film shows is that everyone in this organisation counts. I'm proud of what all of our staff do, 
I'm proud to lead this trust because everyone, whatever their job, makes a real difference for patients.